Shout out to G-Man Boxing. In a recent interview, Tiafimo Lopez has been basically giving his say on his situation with Top Rank and how he feels, if not in his next fight, the one after, he'll be a free agent. I'm going to quote Tiafimo directly here. Um, there's two quotes here that I'm reading off Twitter. One is with the Zone Box and the other is with Sirius XM Boxing. I've heard of them before, but I can't put a face to it. I'm going to quote Tiafimo here. I'm just going to verbatim talk about what he said here and then I'll get into kind of just my initial thoughts on this so Tifimo Lopez has declared that he's meeting a lawyer this week and now intends to get out of his top rank contract after it was reported Tom DeBuff emailed the zone chiefs uh, stating his unhappiness over Eddie Hearn's plan to bid on the Cambosis purse so basically yeah that was because Bob Arum um, obviously we know Cambosis was is mandatory for Tiafimo Lopez that fight is going to happen next and I remember there was issues there's issues for a while with that and it mainly stemmed from the fact that I think Lopez said that he wanted x amount of money and they were like Bob Arum I think Top Arum were like well you're not going to get that so obviously it went to purse bids and when it goes to purse bid it's opened right so anyone can bid and the actual bidder who's won this purse bid is Triller and the Triller put on uh, Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones the exhibition uh, and as far as I believe, I think that I can't remember the actual purse bid they gave, but it was a quite a big purse bid. Put it like this: both fighters, George Cambosis including, are going to be substantially well. Well, seriously, they're going to make an absolute rake cash. So probably more than the fight realistically is actually worth. So both guys are going to get well off. And hey, look, I love seeing fighters get paid. All right, I am all for the fighter making as much money as they can. So if someone else can offer more money. You go and you take that, right? Whether you're George Cambosis or you're uh, Tiafimo Lopez, you get that back, you know? You, it's like I say, right? Like, people like me, like, I use me as an example. Like, us YouTubers can talk for God knows how many years. Promoters can keep going through, you know, tick and tin, except judges, referees, etc. Boxers have, pff, some of them might have 10 years, some of them might have less in order to make really good money, right? If you get, like, that bag, somewhere else you take that you don't just stick around and be like do you know what i could go for this amount of money but i think i'll just stick here because i like him uh okay well that's grand but like and look eddie hearn's not infallible i've you know said this about every promoter i think it was a dave allen who said that when you lose eddie hearn's a hard fighter to contact so it's not like it's not like every promoter is just you know as clean as the driven snow so that's what I got to say on that. I was going to quote Tiafima Lopez here again. He says, we're going to meet up with a lawyer this week. I see myself, this fight or next, I'll be a free agent. There's so much proof for me to get out of this contract. They gave me a golden ticket. Tom DeBuff gave me a golden ticket to get out of the top rank contract. End of quote there. So he's looking to get out of his contract with top rank. Bob Arum is nearly 90 years old, right? He has lived through ugh, everything. I think Bob Arum, right, put it like this, I think Bob Arum originally, I think he was a lawyer before he got into boxing, I know he was hard, was a Harvard he went to, but I'm nearly sure Bob Arum was a lawyer before he actually got into boxing. Bob Arum has a history, right, as most promoters do, but Bob Arum especially, Bob Arum is not a particularly nice guy, and at this stage now he's, he's pushing 90, he don't give a you know what about what he says, I mean this is a fighter who was Terence Crawford. At the time, he, Terence Crawford signed to what a, another year with his contract and was saying, I could buy all these houses with the amount of money Terence Crawford has lost, like he's lost to Terence Crawford. I'm just like, whoa, this is to your fighter. Like, you know, you often hear promoters talk fickle about fighters, you know, or say this about fighters when they've had an acrimonious split. But when you're you're currently still promoting that guy and you're saying that, Bob Arum don't give a you know what. All right. But one thing about Bob Arum over the years is that Floyd Mayweather he bought his way out i'm fair sure um i think him al Heyman were able to buy their way out of the contract with top rank which is fine fighters like demetrius andre fighters like mikey garcia who else was it there was someone else there's been a few occasions where fighters have been in legal disputes with bob arum over their contracts and they end up out of the ring for a while because bob arum i'm sure coming from a law background i'm nearly sure he was a lawyer before he became you know a promoter a lot of these contracts seem airtight. And Tiafimo Lopez may think he has something here, right? But this is Bob Arum. 
this is Bob Arum, and you got to imagine that Bob Arum has made sure to, you know, cross all the T's, dot all the I's, everything on that contract. So, if he wants to leave Bob Arum, if he thinks there's more money with a different promoter, or if Triller, or so, and I think Triller is good at the end of the day, you know, having another platform for fighters to fight on where they can make good money, it's good. I'm, I'm all good with it. As long as they're putting on good fights, I don't want to see any more of these goddamn YouTube fights. I think they're stupid at this stage. Um, but as long as they're putting on com the competitive fights, and Cambosis versus Tiafimo, it's not the most competitive fight, but it's not going to be. It's not like, you know, what we saw the weekend with Yildirim and Canelo where it was just like one fighter was just like literally like it's like he having the yield and may as well have been you know may as well have never swam a day in his life and then chucked him in the deep end of a swimming pool you know like a little like a little cat or something he was just all over the place it's not like that you know cambosis has a bit of skill there you know i thought he beat lee selby comfortably but um tiafimo is, is just another level you know he really is a great fighter tiafimo lopez you know i had my, my doubts going to the lomachenko fight but he proved me well and truly wrong. I want to see Tiafimo Lopez make the most of his ability. He's got a lot of ability. And I want to see him get paid as well. You know, I want to see him and Cambosis get paid. So if going to trailer or thriller means that he's getting good money, if he can get out of his top brand contract, you see, when I hear fighters say that, I'm thinking, okay, that's fine. The only thing I don't like about it is, as I don't like, but the only thing that worries me is when it's illegal to speak. If you think that you know you can get out of this contract, you know, pretty easily, okay. If not, and, and Bob Arum at this stage now, you know, <sighs> Bob Arum is like, as I said, close to 90. He's gone beyond giving a shit. Would he care? Because he's going to get, as far as I'm aware, he'd get a cut of some of that money that Tiafimo Lopez is getting from Triller. But part of me, that's probably why part of me wonders why he's caring so much, you know? Because it's like, well, you're going to get some of that money anyway. But, you know, maybe there's, maybe, look, I'm only a guy who's sitting in front of his iPhone talking. I don't know about the all things that go on inside these contracts, but that's what Tiafimo Lopez has said there. I find it interesting. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, what you think about this, what you think of, well, Tiafimo Lopez's comments, basically. Are you like me thinking that Bob Arum, you know, coming from, I'm nearly sure he comes from a law background, that he will have done his due diligence and made sure those contracts were airtight? you know and i do worry about that because you see fighters careers get prolonged well get shortened almost because look at uh, arthur paterby evan Ivan michelle you know you could argue he missed his peak years you know there's some andre warden goosens you know vanis martirosi and don king i mean don king which is there's a name you see all these issues with fighters who've been you know signed with these get into long-term deals they try and get out of them and it's just a whole load of problems and it stops them from fighting. It stops them from earning a living. So that's not why I don't like seeing that. You know, when that happens to a fighter. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm going to leave you here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe, of course, if you're new. If you just drop them by, please subscribe. You know, we'll try and get to 4K. We're not a million miles off now, lads. Maybe by this month, if not starting next month. Lads, I'll ask you, I'll talk to you. Peace.